We're going to have a look at the practice schedule tool now. Uh, it's a great way to organize your time and fit in all the things you think you should be practicing. Uh, time management is not a strong point for us creative types, so this is a very helpful tool. So let's click on it by clicking on the small clipboard here, which will open up our practice schedule tool. Uh, we have three tabs here. We have the practice schedule uh, main page. We have notes where we can enter in maybe some uh, more detailed uh, explanations of what we're going to practice. And our design tool where we design our practice schedule. Now we've got 60 minutes here and our topics will fit within 60 minutes. So the first one I'm going to do is warm up. And I'm going to do this for five minutes. Add, warm up, five minutes. It's dropped down to 55 minutes left. Uh, the next thing we're going to practice is scales. So we're going to do this for 10 minutes. Add. And uh, maybe the next thing we'll, we want to practice is sight reading. And we'll do this for 15 minutes because we are music geeks. Add. Now, if I want to change the topic description, I can just click on it. And I'll make this using Sight Reader. Because there's two Sight Reading tools here on the software. There's Sight Reader Primer and Sight Reader. So we just update the description. Uh, perhaps you want to practice some new licks over some progressions. So let's do that. Uh, and we can use a progression center, and that way we can uh, practice our licks over any key we want to choose from. And we'll do that for 10 minutes. And perhaps we want to learn some new licks from our lick library. Perhaps we have a library of some cool Brett Gassard licks that we want to add to our rep repertoire. Licks. So let's do that for 10 minutes. And uh, our last topic that we want to, to do, maybe we want to learn some new chord voicings from uh, quick chords. So let's add that, 10 minutes. I've got 10 minutes left. And now we have zero minutes left. Now there's another one called Up To Me, which I like to add to the end of my practice uh, schedules. And uh, it just means it's a indeterminate amount of time that you want to practice something. So I just like to improvise over new albums or improvise over albums and record myself to see uh, what other topics I should add to my practice schedule in future. And I'll just choose Up To Me and add. Now, perhaps, obviously, I may want to learn the new licks before I practice new licks over the progressions. So I can just drag it and reorganize it. Uh, now, so as you can see, I've used an hour worth of uh, topics. Uh, I can add some notes to this. Perhaps you may have a breakthrough and you think, well, what are the steps I, I did to create that breakthrough? So you can write that down. Uh, as, as with any uh, text area in Guitar Sight Ready Toolbox, uh, you can uh, use uh, percentage to create real flats, shift 5 in this case, uh, and uh, hash key for real sharps just to make the text look a little bit more elegant and music like. And uh, what we're going to do is before we can. Uh, practice these topics, we need to save it. So I'm going to save it as testing schedule. Save. And when I open it up, you can see all the practice schedules that I made. You can import and export uh, to the Guitar Sight Reader Toolbox export folder on your desktop, which will be there if you've exported anything before from Guitar Sight Reader Toolbox. It's really a great way to back up all the things that you've created so you can uh, transport them to another computer running Guitar Sight Reader Toolbox or you want to back up uh, your files if you've uh, 
you're planning to reinstall Windows, which sometimes happens more often than we like. Okay, so uh, I'm going to open that up, choose, and uh, we have our practice schedule here. And at the top we have the name of the practice, the practice schedule. In future, in future releases and upgrades, I'll probably, I'm thinking of adding a print feature so that you can print out your practice schedule. Now, remember we created our schedule out of 60 minutes. Uh, but perhaps we have, say, an hour and a half to practice. So when I press uh, an hour and a half in this uh, list box, watch the times change. So these have now adapted to fit within uh, an hour and a half. So if we only have 30 minutes to practice, these will also change. Okay, uh, I'm going to choose here seven minutes and press use and that will change to fit that amount. Okay, so you can change the amount of snooze. That will be more obvious when you see the alarm. I'm going to press start. This clipboard will go into the background and I'm going to do warm up until I see the alarm. I won't have to think about anything else, just doing my finger exercises. Start. So right now, there's a timer running behind Guitar Sight Reader Toolbox. I'm warming up, doing my finger exercises. I should also mention that this is good not only for uh, your own practice time, but also for designing lesson plans. Uh, you can change the plan, of course, uh, if the lesson is for 30, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour. And uh, this is really good for uh, making sure that the student covers all the topics you want to teach him. So I'm doing my finger exercises, and uh, then my alarm comes up, and uh, it shows me my previous practice thing, my next practice thing. You've got close and continue, completely stop practice, and snooze. Now, say if I don't feel like I'm I'm uh, warmed up enough, I can press snooze, and for the next five minutes I can continue, and this will pop up in five minutes. And uh, this will add five minutes to your to the amount of time that you allocated, but. Uh, Sometimes you need it. So, yeah, I'm going to stop and completely stop this practice. So that is uh, the practice schedule tool. And uh, you might want to uh, get great benefit out of that. I should also mention uh, you may want to check out my new site that I put up, which is www.guitarsightreadertoolbox.com. And uh, there you can uh, download, hopefully, very soon, the Windows or the Mac version of Guitar Sight Reader Toolbox, as well as there's some other cool things you can add to your uh, software like Guitar Pro 6, Singing for Success, which is a great course, and uh, Transcribe, which is a really good program as well. So, I think it's time for lunch, and uh, check out the other videos, and I'll see you next time.